Okay, so we're here at the yard. I'm gonna be recording a little clip so I can put it on another video. I don't wanna do a full video on this because the fan clutch is very heavy and uh, you know, it's, it's only me. My dad is not here and I can't I can be recording and, and doing everything all at once. But you guys see, I have developed a little leak right here from this boat, coming from this boat. This boat that holds the fan clutch goes into the block. So um, I have developed a little leak there. So what I did was that I got I got me some uh, some high temp silicone, which I'm gonna be using to see if I can seal up that um, that little leak that I have there. I don't want to have oil all over my motor when I have a fresh painted motor, you know. So I want I'm taking the fan, you know. I took off the fan clutch, making sure that it doesn't fall anywhere. I have it holding on with uh, straps and stuff like that. That way we don't come across any issue. Um, so pretty much, yeah, I moved the fine clutch forward. I'm going to be taking off this boat and I'll be sealing that little, I'm going to be throwing some of that black silicone in there so that can seal up as well without any issues at all. Um, I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to do a full video on this because that fine clutch is super heavy. And the last thing I want is for that fine clutch to fall and, uh, that get damaged, you know? So, and I don't have my dad here to help me out either. So yeah, I just want to let you guys know that I'm going to be doing this and I'm going to be putting this little clip in a different video okay so i wasn't gonna do a video but i'm gonna do it just in case somebody else has the same issue now if you have a boat um that doesn't have a head on it as you see that one doesn't have a head this one doesn't have a head neither because this nut right here goes behind the fan clutch base to hold it in place well you may you may ask yourself how do you remove this boat without no head um some of the older guys you know some of the guys that work on motors i'm sure you guys know how to do it but some of, the, some of the new guys that don't know, um, this is how you do it. Pretty much, you add another same size, obviously, nut on it. You make sure both nuts are tight to each other, very tight, and then just go back on it. See, it, that creates like a locking uh, mechanism. Now, I don't know if you guys can see the oil dripping. Let me see. That oil is dripping, guys, look at that. Look at this, you see, it's not a lot, but you see it there, right? Well, why? Because like I said, these bolts go into the block. See, look at this, look at the oil right there. See, now, because my boat is full of oil. See, I had Teflon, when I rebuilt the motor, I added Teflon thinking that would help. It did. It helped a little bit but not enough at the end of the day it went through it again now what i'm gonna do my next step is i'm gonna clean all that up with a brake cleaner and then after that i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna put some of the silicone that i have there to uh sorry so i can uh i'm, I'm gonna go ahead and put some of that silicone so it can make sure that it does not leak anymore now this silicone right here guys it can hold up to 500 degrees in temperature which that should be plenty of uh of, of that, sh that should be your head should not be at 500 degrees temperature you know if, it's, if it is at that temp uh you know what you won't have, you won't have a head you won't have a motor you won't have anything i'm going to be using this uh, rtv silicone and like i said it holds up to 500 degrees temperature i'm going to be doing this now because i have to leave tomorrow and it's supposed to be sitting there for 24 hours so now we have our boat out Let's go ahead and uh, let's clean our boat with brake fluid. And, uh, let's go ahead and clean over there as well. The front of the motor with brake fluid as well. And then I guess put some in there and make sure that everything is tied up together. I'm going to also be doing the other one on the other side just to make sure we don't have any issues at all. That one is not leaking. I know that I did add Teflon on that one as well when I did the job. That one's not leaking. You guys can see it. Um, I'm still debating if I should do it or not, to be honest. I think I am going to do it, but I'm still debating if I should or not, because if, it, if it's not leaking, I, I don't think I should touch it, but I don't know. We'll see what I come up with. Okay, so everything is clean already. I already put some of the silicone in there. You already see it. Um, this is what I'm going to do to the boat. I'm going to add some silicone to the boat as well, and I'm going to wait till it gets a little tacky. Once it gets a little tacky like, like it is now, I'm going to... I want to put her right in there. I'm going to wait you know, a few more minutes once it gets a little more tight gear because I literally just put it on here like five minutes ago. So I'm going to wait another five minutes when it gets a little tight gear. Like I said, I'm going to.
put her in. After I do this, obviously remove these two nuts and I do the same thing for the other side. This side is done already. So see right there? Um, I already have that side tied up with silicone and everything. And I actually have the other side taken apart as well. The other side wasn't as bad. Um, the reason, the only reason why I'm doing this is because I'm already here. It would suck that, you know, that I'll, that I'll do everything. I'll fix everything, put everything back together. And then for this side to start leaking. So since I'm already here, why not do it? You know, it's, we're here already. You know, it's just this, you know, why not do it? Everything's, everything's taken apart already anyhow. So nothing. We're going to follow the same process. Use our brake cleaner to clean everything up, clean the threads in the block and uh, put silicone on this, put silicone in that hole and put everything back together. Like I said, I won't start it. I already started the truck this morning. Uh, so we're going to charge up the batteries and everything like that. I'm not going to start it now till tomorrow, like around 9 in the morning. That's going to give me plenty of time. Not 24 hours, but it's going to give me plenty of time for it to cure and to dry up. I should be good. I shouldn't have any issues at all. If it does leak again, uh, then hell, I'm going to have to take it off again and then let it sit for real, like, you know, for over 24 hours. That way it can be completely dry. I know that in an hour or so, it should be good. You know, it's, it's supposed to says it's handable, but it's completely cured in 24 hours. So yeah, let's go for it. Got my fan clutch back on. I still have to tighten up my bolts. Uh, my belts, they're already good where they're supposed to be at. I don't want to do them too, too tight because I don't want to overdo them and break them off, you know? <clears throat> Remember that if you leave them a little loose, you can always go back and, and adjust them a little more if you need to. That's why I don't do them all the way. Um, I think that where they're at right now, they should be fine. I shouldn't have an issue, but if I do have to adjust them, I can always turn them a little more and make them a little tighter. <sighs> Anyways, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, now that I have my fan off as well, I don't know if I showed you guys or not, but yeah, I took off the fan from the beginning. I'm going to go ahead and install my compressor. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going gonna, gonna to go ahead and install the belts to my compressor and the alternator so we can continue once. Before I do that, sorry, I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, finish bolting down my bolts for the fan clutch. That way everything can be stiff without any issues at all. Then I'm gonna do the belts to my compressor and the alternator. Let me show you guys the other side. Man, this fan, <clears throat> sorry, the fan clutch is something very heavy. Um, and it's not only that it's heavy, heavy, it's, it's in a very bad, uncomfortable position, you know? And when you're working by yourself, you have to go up to adjust it, you have to go down, you know, it's, it's very uncomfortable, guys, but Thank God we were able to do without any issues at all. I have a bolt right here that I have to, I have to, I still have to install it where the fan clutch goes. And uh, after that, you know, tie everything up. Let's continue. Got our AC and uh, alternator connected already. Everything good. Our belts are adjusted. Did the same thing. I didn't adjust them at full. I left them there. If they start to squeak or something, then I'll go ahead and I would uh, you know, adjust them a little more. Oh man, we're looking good. I wish I could start this thing today. I really don't want to start it. Or better said, I do want to start it, but I don't want to risk the chance of that leaking because I didn't want to wait the 24 hours, you know, or at least some more time. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, install my fan. And once we install our fan, I guess we're going to wrap it up and call it a day. I don't want to stay here too long either because I'm leaving tomorrow and I want to be home with the family and stuff you know so yep let's continue let's put on our fan it's like six bolts and then I, right after that i'll show you guys again see after that i'll show you guys again that the fan is on and uh yeah i guess we'll call it a day okay so we are finally done you guys can see right here look at the fan everything's put back together everything is tied up together we should be good uh, to go without any issues now, I wish I can start it for you guys just to show you, but I can't. I really can't. Not that I can't. I really don't want to because the last thing I want is for that, you know, the silicone that I put in there not to be cured and start to leak again. You know, that would suck because then I have to go back and do the job again. So, uh, yeah, pretty much the silicone that I used, it's actually meant for head gaskets. It's meant for, you know, oil pans and stuff like that. So it's a really good silicone. It also resists... Um, temperature it's meant is you know it's it's actually meant for that so we should be good i shouldn't have any issues at all plus i also added teflon on the boat and i added that silicone i added extra that way 
you know, once it goes in there, that it dries up, that it cures, I should be good to go. I shouldn't have any issues at all, guys. Um, this is going to be it. You know, this wasn't a planned video. Once again, it was just something that I came to do, and I thought I was going to be able to do it a lot quicker than I than what I thought, and it actually took a little longer than what I thought, and why not do a video on it? You know, it might help somebody out, somebody that's, you know, is having the same issue. You know, pretty much, you got to move all the fan clutch out of the way, take all your your fan move the fan clutch out of the way and obviously take off your uh, ac compressor and uh what do you call this thing the freaking alternator belts off as well so you can you know loosen up the fan clutch take out your bolts clean it up silicone on them and boom put back together like i said um it might help one of you guys anyways i'm gonna take a second and end the video here and i also want to thank each and every one of you for the love for the support you guys are killing it don't stop uh drop a comment down below whatever it is drop a comment i'm going to start to get in the habit again uh, into reading comments and trying to trying to respond i know that it, you know i try to get back at everybody every now and then i miss somebody because it's a lot guys it's a lot but i'm going to try and do it without um you know without how can i say without uh you know I'm gonna try and do it without failing anybody as always thank you guys so much for watching this is all that i got for you um if you guys have not subscribed do so now i just reached 11k like i said and i want to reach 15k next sorry guys some guys blowing his train horn i want to reach 15k next and i can only do it with the help of you guys as always stay safe peace and keep on trucking